Hey, it's Tim here. In this video, we're going to be talking about, I think, a really interesting change to Tableau Desktop that's come from WebEdit. Let's get stuck into this. So here I have a version of Tableau. It's actually the previous version, 21.2, and I've just loaded up the default dashboard. If you're wondering where this is, um, you can actually go over here to the bottom and just select this first one, Superstore Sales, and open that up, and essentially you'll get uh, this dashboard here. Now, What's interesting in this release is that Tableau say they've updated the action interface to match the web version. So essentially what they've done is they've brought the web version of the feature and brought it into desktop. And what that means is that it has to have the same feature parity because you can't put something in desktop and take features away. So this is sort of, I think, a really interesting change. If I go to dashboard here and actions, I'm on the Mac, admittedly. So this is what the old action interface used to look like. This is how it's always looked like on a Mac. Now, admittedly, I'm not going from Mac to Mac here. I'm not going from Windows to Windows. I don't have um, the setup correctly <laughs> across the same machine. I'm having to switch between Windows and Mac. It's a long story. Let's not get into it. But nevertheless, this is the old interface. When you go to add an action, you get this pop-up. It's actually been the same same in desktop, it's slightly different, slightly less polished because uh, the Windows version has Windows sort of toolbars here. But if I go over to this one, this is actually running 21.3. And essentially what's happening here is that both of the Mac and the Windows version has exactly the same setup as what we see in WebEdit. So let's go in down here, go to actions, and you'll see that this actually has a new feature. Someone's sending me a message because they're so excited about this. But nevertheless, you can see this now has the same version as WebEdit from web authoring. So that's really it. It's not really much of a quality of life improvement. It's just a change, but I think it's an important one because it tells you that they're getting even closer to getting desktop with feature parity with WebEdit. And this is one of those things, <laughs> action interfaces, which is one of those things that people have to have. Now we're not done there yet because of course this is great. We've got a feature coming over from WebEdit to desktop. What about features coming from desktop to WebEdit? Well, that's also happening too. Let's go over to uh, Tableau Online. Let's just open this up. Uh, and you can see here that I've actually got a very sort of nice view. Let's go to my homepage actually, and we'll open up this Superstore workbook again, but now we're gonna do it in WebEdit. Let's go into this. And what we'll see here is um, some changes essentially. And what is great about this new feature is they've actually updated the filtering dialog box to have the same features as desktop. So now the filter dialog is the same on desktop and on web edit. So let's go in here and uh, essentially if we go into any of these sheets and just bring up the filter dialog, we have the full set of features that we're used to. So let's, let's just open this region filter, click to edit fields filter and you'll actually see that we have the same sort of functionality. Now it looks slightly different. I'm not gonna lie, this does look a little bit different to what I'm used to, but essentially all the sections are there. We've got the wildcard, the conditions, the top and bottom. And as you click on each of these, they obviously expand. And we've also got our summary here on the bottom left-hand side. So that's really nice to see. If I go to the Mac version here, and I'm, actually, I'm just on the Mac version, let me close this action window down so we go back to this. Let's go to the same chart and actually make sure that all the features are there. It's exactly the same chart. And you can see that this is still using the old style design. So my guess is that in the next release, we'll ditch this design and we'll switch over to the uh, uh, web edit version a little later on. So all the same features are here. And again, if I go to web edit here, you can see that all the same capabilities are there. Okay, so this is really nice to see. Uh, I like that this is picking up pace. There's really some momentum on this web edit train. Guys, I think very soon you'll be able to just use Tableau in the browser, no holes bars. We are getting closer. I've been singing about this for a year, but we're really getting there. I don't know why I'm excited. Maybe it's because people won't have to wait days to get a license key to install Tableau. Um, but also maybe because it will change some paradigms. It feels to me like they can do more with web edit and the browser technology than they can with software, especially given now that they're part of Salesforce, now that they have to sort of integrate with many web technologies anyway. And now that cloud computing is pretty normal, the web might actually be the best place for Tableau to be developing their features. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out all the other videos on tableautim.com. I have a whole playlist for this release and previous releases as well that you can check out. And of course, uh, be sure to let me know if you like this video. Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.